Hi guys, happy Friday. So excited to be coming at you live here from Cluckingham Palace. I am inside our chicken coop today because the weather has been cray cray this week, like absolutely crazy. So earlier in the week, it was, it was you know, normal winter temperatures. The past two days, like Wednesday and Thursday, it was between like 40 and 60. So it was really, really crazy there. Um, and then today, it is back down to 21 degrees. So to kind of build off of my video about chicken sweaters, I wanna to talk to you guys about how we keep our chickens warm in the winter and if it's totally necessary to heat your coop. My immediate answer to the heat the coop question is no. I don't care where you live. I don't care uh, what kind of chickens you have. More than likely, you do not need to heat your coop. Chickens are able to regulate their body heat much the same way that humans are. In fact, probably better than humans are because they have feathers, they have down feathers. So we have down feather jackets, we have down feather comforters to keep us warm, right? Well, that's the kind of feathers they're made of. So they know how to fluff up their feathers to create little air pockets of heat and that's what keeps them warm. Kind of like one of my chickens is doing over here right now, so I'll show you. So you got one of our older ladies here. See how she's kind of like hunched and puffed up? You've probably seen your birds do this before. Or if you're new to chicken owning, you're wondering what you need to do um, for the winter. All you need is a good roost. So because they'll have a roost, they'll be able to stand still up off the ground, fluff themselves up, keep themselves warm. If they're extra cold, what they do is they sit on their feet. Now, if you're still concerned if your chickens are cold at that point, do me a favor. Probably easiest at lockup at night um, because they're trying to go to sleep, right? They're a little more chill. Pick one up off the roost. Feel its stomach. It is like burning hot compared to the outdoors. So you know right then and there that they are regulating their body heat. They're staying warm. I can see my breath right now in the coop, but I know that the chickens are probably fine. So it's 21 degrees outside today. Probably some wind chill, the snow is back. But I leave the coop run open and currently have the front door open. And you can see it doesn't seem to bother them at all. They just wanna eat the snow because they're really special. They won't go play in the snow, but they will eat the snow, won't you? Yes, you will. Through the winter, you might think that, you know, you need to cover up every single draft you have, which I do recommend, make sure it's drafted. If you can insulate, that's great too, but you do need to remember that you do need to ventilate for a couple of reasons. Chicken poop is 85% water. Yeah, as we breathe, stuff like steam comes out of our mouth. That's actually water leaving our body when we do that, okay? So you got chicken poop full of water, right? You have them breathing and expelling moisture. You have moisture in the air because of snow, and that can actually escalate things like frostbite. It can um, make it drafty in here. If it's too moist, they can actually get respiratory illness. So it's not a bad thing to have like some form of cross breeze that maybe isn't consistent all day if it's not above a chicken's height. But as you can see here in Cockingham Palace, we have a really high ceiling, so we could actually afford to put some vents near the top there because it's quite a ways down from the roost. So we could get like a cross breeze going here from one end to the other to be able to ventilate better and to have less of a humidity problem. So we do have a bit of a humidity problem in our coop and what we've been doing to battle that is a couple of things. Even if it's cold to the point where I think it's too darn cold, what I've been doing is at least opening the coop door up. That does expel some of the humidity during the day. When we get home, we create a cross breeze by opening up that coop door back there, along with that, um, to help get some of the moisture out of the air. We're also um, cleaning up the chicken coop maybe a little more than we would in the summer because they're not free ranging as much. So that means there's more poop hanging out, right? Now the poop will freeze, so it's not a huge deal, uh, but it's still an issue. <laughs> Are you done? Another thing we do, because there is extra poop, um, something my husband just actually started doing, was flipping over, turning the bedding under the roost because that's where they hang out and poop the most because that's where they're gonna hang out if they're cold. That's where they're gonna hang out when they sleep, so they're gonna poop a lot there. So he's turning it over 
so it doesn't it stays fresher longer that way and i believe that is part of the deep litter method we don't part <laughs> we don't participate in that obviously as sir lancelot just said but um we are taking that part of the method to be able to eliminate some of the moisture um and some of the stank in here too are you done with filming are you done with filming lance so you can see they're kind of puffed up, especially him. He's just a big chicken to begin with. But they're hanging out. They're puffed up. <laughs> yeah, you know how to keep yourself warm, huh? And your ladies. Another thing that we do that is kind of a new idea is we put a little dehumidifier in here. It works really, really well when it's above 32 degrees. <laughs> it doesn't work so well when it gets colder. And you can see here... Um, our humidity says it's low right now, but that's mostly just because it's so cold. At 32 degrees, it works a lot better. But you can see that the coop temp is 30 degrees. Outside is 30 degrees because they haven't had the door open. They don't seem to be bothered by it at all. Other than just perturbed that there, you know, is snow outside again. But we do that. Um, it has been, when it's a little warmer... It is filling up. You can see actually there's some some water in there. I'll probably want to empty that so it doesn't freeze. Moral of the story, guys. These guys can keep themselves warm enough. You don't need to add supplementing heat. You don't need to add heat lamps. They're dangerous because these big guys, they get excited. They fly around and then one knocks one over and then you have chicken on fire flapping around, setting everything else on fire, setting everyone else on fire. That does not fun, sound fun, huh? Yeah, they got a lot to say today. Okay, guys, if you do feel like you need some sort of heat in your coop, I'm going to show you what we do for that. So this is the only type of heater that I would actually recommend for you to get. It is Chicken Chick approved, if you know who that is. There's the label. Even though it's like 21 degrees outside or whatever, I don't have it turned on. But these guys are younger. All right. They're about 12 weeks, so they have they have pretty much their big kid feathers. But they're not big enough to defend themselves yet from the bigger girls. Or some of the sassier ones anyways, like, you know, Oreo. Oreo. Like, smaller than they are, but here we are. Um, but... We were a little concerned about them because they are all so small. So we did get this. It does put off a little heat. It's just a panel. So this one side over here actually gives off the heat. You have this little switchy thing. Um, again, we don't have it turned on. We had sub-zero days though. We were just a little worried. But honestly, uh, the chickens didn't even like hang out around it. I will put a link in the bio for the Cozy Coop thing if you are interested in trying to buy that for your chickens. If you have younger ones, if you're really concerned and having like sub-zero days, um, it's not a bad purchase to have and it's probably the safest option. Um, it's tiny enough that it gives the chickens an option to go buy it if they want to or ignore it if they want to do that too. So I hope this was helpful. I know that a lot of us just get concerned about our chickens because they are pets to us, but you need to recognize that chickens have been around for a very long time and they have survived so far. So sometimes us helping them is actually going to hurt them. You need to remember that. Make sure you do your research before you just go to the store and buy heat lamps and put up like 20 heat lamps in your coop and burn it down. All right. So I'll talk to you guys next week. I hope you have a great weekend and yes. That's it. No wine this week because I'm in the coop, but cheers.